This is The Wretched in five minutes. The Wretched is a solo journaling role-playing game by Chris Bizet, also known as Loot the Room. It's celebrating its two-year anniversary, and so now it seems like a great time to kind of re-emphasize how amazing this game is. Uh, and let me tell you a little bit about how the game works, and then I'll talk to you about why I think it's so amazing and still worth celebrating two years later. The Wretched Works is a solo role-playing game where you are a lone survivor on a spacecraft or a space station in a pretty horrible situation. Something is hunting you. Some sort of alien creature or being is trying to get to you. And you don't want to get hunted, but also at the same time, your ship is falling apart. The Wretched is a solo journaling game, which means it's based off of following prompts. Now, how do you do prompts? You use a deck of cards. Every time you have a day on the space station, you roll a, a d6. It tells you how many events or activities you have to do. You draw a card for each activity. That then tells you from an oracle sheet what prompts you should be writing a journal entry about. Those prompts could be thinking about memories of the past on the ship. They could be dealing with active problems like your air filtration uh, suddenly falling apart. They could be related to the monster itself, the alien, and it's hunting you. Each day you're writing more and more parts to this puzzle and you are starting to see how badly things are going for you on this ship. Now, it's enough on its own just to do the cool journaling and write about it and think about how your experience on this space station is is going pretty terribly but it is made all the more tense because you are using a jenga or tumbling block tower the whole time each time you answer a prompt you have to take a, a block out and stack it which means inevitably that tower is going to fall and when it does you die that's it game over there is technically a victory condition in the game, but it is incredibly difficult to accomplish. These are games that are meant to lean into the dread, into the horrible, into the wretched situation that you find yourself in at that moment. The Wretched came out at a really kind of important time for solo role-playing games where we were filled with dread as we were entering the pandemic. And I think Chris really captured the, the feeling that a lot of us were having at that moment uh, and did it in a, a format that was familiar to us. If you've seen movies like Alien, where you're like, okay, I understand the concept of being alone on a spaceship. And I also understand being alone right now in the world that we're in and thinking about it. Uh, it, was, it was just a really powerful game when it came out, and it's still powerful today. In fact, The Wretched sparked its own engine, The Wretched and Alone, where... Dozens and dozens of people have created their own versions of Wretched Games. They are totally different themes. I've made one. There was a jam. There's tons of them. But Chris has also made a few others that I wanted to highlight. So, for example, Go Alone is one of my absolute favorite games that I've ever played. You play as the legendary weapon that's given to the hero at the start of a game. You can see from the art here that we're evoking the concepts of... Legend of Zelda in the very beginning when you get the Master Sword. The wonderful discovery of witches about, is about being a woman who's been accused of being a witch and going through the interrogation process during the witch trial periods of our history. The Wretched is a fantastic game, and it's a fantastic engine, obviously with uh, evidenced by all the people who have made things. But I think Chris is, um, I think it's worth celebrating, even though the game has passed a two years now in its life, because still today, looking through these prompts, I reread them this morning, and it just does such a wonderful job of capturing being alone, being overwhelmed, dealing with everything that's going on, and just taking a moment to sit and think with those thoughts and process them, even though it feels like you're not getting anywhere, even though it feels like you're not making any progress. In fact, it seems like things are getting worse. Uh, I, I think the game came out at the right time. I think it still today tells us a lot about the concept of being alone. If you are a horror fan, if you're a sci-fi fan, if you like things like Alien, you're going to love The Wretched on its own. But if you're a solo role player as well, you're going to find that this system, this engine, has dozens and dozens of games out there for any genre that I think you will really appreciate. So that's The Wretched. That's The Wretched Collection from Chris Bazette. I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you next time. Bye.